That's a great picture. Just the way I remember you. I'm Karen from Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, and this is my fiance, Rick. We went on our first date at age 17. We went bowling, of all things. Rick was a lot of fun on the date, and everything I thought went fine, but Rick never called me back for a second date until 33 years later. I wanted to go out with her again, but I was very shy in high school. Every time I went to pick the phone up, I chickened out. Weeks went by. I finally said I can't call her now. It's been far too long since that date, and she's going to be mad at me for not calling her. So I gave up. Thirty-three years passed, and we reconnected on Facebook seven years ago, and we finally went on our second date. When I saw Karen on Facebook again, I started thinking of maybe what could have been. We had both been married, had kids, been divorced. I finally got up the courage to ask her out for a second date 33 years later. Well, we've been together ever since. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> I knew I wanted to marry Karen. It was just such a cool proposal. He couldn't, he couldn't have done it better, really. I took Karen to the jewelry store to do some ring shopping. <laughs> the lady was handing us a couple different rings to look at at a time. She says, here, why don't you take a look at this one and hands it to me. And I stuck it on Karen's finger and said, will you marry me? And she just went, uh, When I saw the ring, I knew. I knew it was real. Rick is an incredible person. He's a gentleman. Best of all, he's my best friend. He just says everything that I was looking for and some of the things I was, didn't even know I was looking for. Who would expect to find this at 50, especially when it was somebody that you knew all your life? <laughs> Karen brought love back into my life and made me feel whole again. I don't think I really knew what your other half meant um, until now. Karen thinks that we're just going dress shopping today. What she doesn't know is I've actually been working with the producers of the Rachel Ray Show for weeks in order for some major surprises. Oh, what's this? Surprise! <laughs> I know you waited 33 years for your second date with Rick. And we don't want you to wait one more day for your wedding! Not only are we helping you pick out your wedding dress for your big day, we oh, are boy. your big day! We are throwing you guys a wedding right here in this very studio oh tomorrow. God. Can you even hear me? Because you're probably screaming and crying a lot right now. Crying. We know you have a lot to do today, including getting your marriage license. This is your marriage license. Oh. <laughs> I never imagined when I woke up this morning I would be getting married within 24 hours. I still can't believe this. Oh my God, Kleinfeld. My name is Debbie. I'm a bridal consultant here at Kleinfeld. And I have the pleasure today to meet Karen and help her find the perfect wedding dress. Both my mom and my mother-in-law to be are here too to help me choose a dress, so it's it's wonderful because I can get their opinions. We kind of got just one more little surprise for you. I have no idea what it could possibly be, but I'm like so excited to find out. So come on out! I'll be seated, thank you very much. So Karen and Rick, it's about time. <laughs> now it doesn't always seem this way, but true love tends to lead people to each other at exactly the right time. Now, all you have to do is answer all these following questions. Spoiler alert, the correct answer to all of the following questions is we do, okay? All right, Karen and Rick, 
Do you promise to take advantage of this incredible opportunity that life has given you, not just to reconnect, but to be each other's lawfully wedded spouse, to create the life of your dreams, to love each other, to honor each other, protect each other, comfort each other, and be each other's best friends for as long as ye both shall live? We do. We do. <laughs> do you both promise with all of your heart to be each other's North Star, constant, sure, and true? We, we do. do. Great. <laughs> now, do you have rings to give each other? We do. Wonderful. <laughs> Rick, you're going to go first. If we could have the ring for Rick, please. Rick. All right. This ring from this gentleman here. Thank please you. place the ring on the tip of Karen's ring finger and repeat after me. Okay? Just put it right on the tip. Very good. Karen. Karen. I love you. I love you. My heart is in this ring. My heart is in this ring. I am yours completely. I am yours completely. I promise to be your faithful husband. I promise to be your faithful husband. To love you in sickness and in health. To love you in sickness and in health. In life and beyond. In life and far beyond. When you look at this ring. When you look at this ring. Remember that I love you always. Remember that I love you always. And slide the ring onto her finger. Very good. Do we have another ring for Karen? Turn around here. She's got a ring in her pinky. Thank you very yeah. much. Please place the ring on the tip of Rick's ring finger and repeat after me. Rick. Rick. Thank you for my beautiful ring. Thank you for my beautiful <laughs> ring. Very good. I love you. I love you. My heart is in this ring. My heart is in this ring. I am yours completely. I am yours completely. I promise to be your faithful wife. I promise to be your faithful wife. To love you in sickness and in health. To love you in sickness and in health. In life and beyond. In life and beyond. When you look at this ring. When you look at this ring. Remember that I love you always. Remember that I love you always. And slide the ring all the way on the wrist. Very good. <laughs> now just hold hands. Yeah, just hold hands. So it has been my honor to officiate your brief ceremony for you today in front of <laughs> your friends and family and America. And now I get to say something that you've been looking forward to hearing for a very, very, very long time. By the powers vested in me by the super duper state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, sir. Yay! Yay!